Here we go. And, and, and today, after a three-week hiatus, I am bringing you something that's that's a little a little overdue. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the new ban list that happened in the OCG mainly because it's interesting to talk about. Um, and I think that ban lists overall, no matter how late you are to them, unless unless a new one ha happens right after that, um, should be pretty easy to talk about. It should be fun to talk about, and I will kind of just want to talk about it. I said talking about it like four times in one sentence, so there are one set of sentences. So anyway, let's just run right into it. So the newly forbidden in the OCD is Zodiac Broadbull. Newly limited is Masterpiece The True Draco King, Fairy Tale Snow, Dragonic Diagram, uh, the newly semi-limited, uh, Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer, Witch of the Black Forest, Scar, Malbranch of the Burning Abyss, Rescue Cat, Burial from a Different Dimension, Card of Demise, Preparation of Rites, Sacrifice, Dark Hole, Terror Deforming, Union Hanger, Wavering Eyes, Dragon's Ravine, and Solemn Strike. Unlimited, newly unlimited, is Black Lotus Soldier, Envoy of the End, or the Beginning, Wisdom Eye Magician, Armageddon Knight, DD Swirl Slime, Goyo Guardian, Ignister Prominence, The Blasting Draco Slayer, uh, Bionic Dragon of the Ice Spirit and Brain Control. So let's talk about some of the things that have happened over this ban list. Some of the most interesting things is that Broadbolt is now at zero, um, which is kind of interesting because I think Broadbolt was was the only card really keeping ZDX afloat, and I think that afterwards I think Zoo is kind of just going to be uh, really hard to, hard pressed to find to find a use um, with Dryden Barrage and now Broadbolt banned, and we have also Rap here at one. And the OCG, we can definitely see that, that Konami is desperately trying to kill this deck because it's been flu it's been uh, fluent for the past couple of months, um, and it's really really hard to say that this that this isn't warranted. However, I can do, I can see some implications as to why this card shouldn't be banned. For example, it's really good in other decks. For example, you can play Firefist, you can play this in Firefist, you send you, and whatnot, and, and the like, what have you. But I think it's best best at zero in this in this, in this situation because even if you're playing one of this card, it's still going to be relatively broken. I would say so. It's definitely really good to see that this card is going to be at zero in the OCG. I'm not sure if we're going to see that anything like this in the TCG. By the way, we might not even see a fan list of this magnitude ever, but we we could definitely hope, right? So yeah, let's talk about other things such as uh, the new Dra the, the Draco Slayer stuff being limited, uh, masterpiece and that Dragonic Diagram. That, that kind of just ultimately it's it hurts the the archetype so much. I think that they can't they, they can't it can't even function at that point. Um, if you're playing, if you're wanting to play dinosaurs in the OCG, you can't. It really can't because you, unless you're playing the pure build, uh, which isn't very good, um, and that's, the, I guess it's okay. Uh, and they, they probably also didn't want Dra uh, uh, Draco Slay uh, or True Kings and True Dracos to just ultimately just out outweigh every other archetype that's going to be coming out for Link Summoning. And keep in mind that uh, Link Summoning is the only reason why I think that these cards are going to be limited in the first place. Uh, Fairy Tale Snow. I think this card should be limited. Obviously, uh, it's really stupid. The card is really, really dumb. Uh, it's, it adds so much advantage. The card on the field isn't that great, but once it's off the field, it's where it, that's where you have to worry about it more. Um, it's very comparable, I would say, to Norton, where if you're gonna be, if you're, if you're. Uh, you, you might as well just be playing a fairy tale snow. Granted, it's not as good now since Link form, since Link Summoning is coming out, and um, you can't really set them to face down defense position. So I guess it, it's it's lost a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of staying power that way. But it's still just too ridiculous just to even. I think be at one. I think it should be banned. But we'll see how this goes. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, most notable cards that are semi limited is a perform held pendulum sorcerer. Uh, I think they're going to need everything that they can in the pen, in, in the uh, in the link format because perform uh, or pendulum monsters in general kind of just are not very good and if they are played uh, they're very they're, they're just kind of like splashed in engines. Um, like for example, I, I I advocate that people will probably still play Metaphos in 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 these specific uh, situations simply because that Metaphos is one of those archetypes that uh, doesn't necessarily rely on the pendulum summoning. It's just a, me a method of getting some decent advantage off of your cards. Um, but I think in in the in the grand scheme of things, they need something to have the sustainability of 
um, pendulum monsters be really good, and I think performing powers is definitely the way to do it. And that's kind of also kind of the, way, the reason why they put uh, Wisdom Eye to three and Uni Hanger to er, and Wavering Eyes to two. I think I, I think Wavering Eyes is still pretty busted, but I think in this format where, where it's going to be less less reliant on the on pendulum on the pendulum mechanic, it's it's not going to be as good. Weaving Eyes was really good, uh, specifically in the mirror match because it was kind of one of those cards that just blew out your opponent, or you, or, or it blew you out. It's it's one of those cards where if you don't have a response to it, you're going to lose the game. But I don't think this is going to be much of a problem much anymore. Uh, next up is Card of Demise. This is kind of interesting because. Uh, Card of Demise is, in my opinion, I don't see it as broken. I think it's a, a really good card, but to see it semi-limited like this is definitely kind of interesting. I think they're trying to push people away from this this negative mindset of Card of Demise is pretty good in, in, in every deck that can run it. Um, and you should pro you're probably still gonna if you're playing a Demise deck, you're probably still gonna be running those two Card of Demise because it's a really good card draw. But I think. Uh, I think it's kind of very similar to End of the Void, just a little bit on, on the extreme, um, a little bit better than that. But yeah, I think I think I think Card of Demise can go to two. It probably it probably might actually go to two in the in the uh, in the uh, TCG, but we'll we'll definitely see. I don't think Card of Demise is doing anything right now in the TCG as much, as far as I'm not as far as I know. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, terraforming. I, I've always advocated that terraforming should be at one, and it's really good to see that the uh, OCG is taking steps towards uh, uh, doing something about this card. This card is not comparable to Reinforcements of the Army in the slightest. It's more comparable to Upstart Goblin. Um, as as decks become more and more field spell based and field field, field spell focused, terraforming is just going to get more and more significant. That's why they put Union Hanger. This is this, this is the reason reason why they originally put Union Hanger to one because it's such an incredible field spell, and that's why now we see Pen um, Dragonic Diagram going to one because it's such an incredible field spell. Um, I think that the reason uh, I think the reasoning behind terraforming uh, being being at one or even here in this case two is really good. Um, Simply because it's very comparable upstart because it would just gain you so much advantage overall. That one thousand life points when you play upstart doesn't exactly matter. Similarly, just you're not really losing. But in this case, you're not even losing anything for upstart go or for your upstart goblin. You're not losing anything for your terraforming. It's just an overall decent and stupid card. I think that should definitely be at one. It's 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 just I think it's very very good now. Uh, very good to see that it's going to one. Solemn Strike. Solemn Strike is one of those cards that his is. <clears throat> I've tried to sh uh, shy away from saying it's absolutely insane, uh, but it is absolutely insane. And the problem is with this card is that it kind of just stops pretty much almost anything that you can think of. <clears throat> any effects in it, any any summons that you can think of, you could probably pretty much just negate it. And, and even with Solemn Strike at two, and I think if Solemn Strike ever goes to one, I think you're going to be playing. Either way, I think you're gonna be playing it either way. If Solemn Strike goes to one, you're probably gonna be playing the one playing the one Solemn Strike. If you're going, if you if it stays at two forever, you're probably gonna play two Solemn Strikes forever. Um, I think, I think it's falling in, into the trap of the Max C curse where you're, it, where it's at three, uh, and people are playing it in every deck, and Konami doesn't want you playing it in every deck. Uh, that's just my my really personal opinion on that. Uh, there's not really too many too notable cards on here. I mean, Barrel from the Different Dimension. The card's kind of uh, not very good unless you're playing Infernoids, uh, but that deck is kind of dead in the OCG in the TCG at least. Um, Sacrifice. I mean, it, uh, Clay Force and all the help they can get. I still think they have. Uh, no, they have they have Clay Force got it too. I think I think Clay Force got it too. Uh, so they can survive. They can survive. Wish of the Black Force isn't very good. Um, because they got reprinted. Dragons of Each should be at three. Uh, Dark Hole probably should be at three, but we'll see how that goes. And the last cards we're gonna talk about the unlimited uh, Blacklister Soldier. Obviously, the key thing here to note is that that this card is gonna be really good come link format because you could just basically run a Turbo Chaos build with link summoning, and you could just use Blacklister Soldier as one of your game finishing cards. Um, and having three of that is pretty good. Will you play three? Probably not. Um, mainly because it'll be really hard. You'll You'll be really hard pressed to summon this card three times in it in, in, in one duel. Um, keep in mind that that it's not that bad at three, uh, and I think it's probably safe to say that this card is not very good anymore. It's not as scary as it used to be, and but we want we might see it. We might see it come back. We might see it come back. Uh, so next is uh, Ignister, uh, Prominence uh, Blast, uh, Prominence the Blasphemy Draco Slayer. This card is pretty. Pretty good. It's not as good as it used to be, but 
I think I think in in the terms of uh, pendulum summoning, this card's gonna be really good. Same way with with, with, with Odd of Magician, I want to lump that with this card too, uh, or with the Miami. It's it's gonna be really good in, in any pendulum deck that you decide this, you, you decide to make. So there's that, and overall, I think it's just one of the best synchro monsters ever created in general. So. Anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Metamorphos, and I will be signing out.